It's a privilege of mine to share with you our video devotional for today, Wednesday, October the 2nd, 2019. And this week we, we are looking at Jesus' declaration that he is the Good Shepherd in John 10, verses 11 through 15. Let me, let me read these scriptures again as we understand the Word of God is, is truth and, and the Word of God can set us free from all kinds of anxiety and fear. Listen to this carefully. I'm the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he who is a hireling and not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he's a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. And I know my sheep and am known by my own. And as the Father knows me, even so I know the Father and I will lay down my life for the sheep. As the good shepherd, Jesus declares that he knows his sheep in verse 14 of our text. I know my sheep and I am known by them. I am the good shepherd who will not leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. See the characteristics of the, of the shepherd and the promises of Christ. When we read about a promise in God's word of how God is, how the, the, our Savior is, then we should see that's a characteristic of a good shepherd. I know you're coming in. I know you're going out. I'll be with you in all those occasions. If you stray, I'll be coming after you. If you're about to fall over a cliff, I'm going to take you with, with the neck of, of that staff and pull you back. I'll be between you and the ravenous wolves, and, and, and they seek to devour you. I will stand between you and that wolf. Come on. They will not destroy you. I will lose none of those who are mine. I read this illustration. I'm sorry, I don't remember where it's from, but I, I've got it uh, written down. I'm going to read it because I, I think it depicts the good shepherd so, so clearly and, and how if we teach and we practice this in our lives, Others will catch it, and we'll, we're going to have a community that God expects us to have. A Christian mother who lived in the city of New York in very humble circumstances had only one child, a little boy about seven years old, whom she had taught to know and love the Savior. One day when this good mother was going quietly on, on with her work at home, she was startled by a loud knock at the door of her humble dwelling. On opening the door, she received this alarming message. Hurry away to the police station. Your little boy has been run over. She was terribly frightened and hastening as fast as she could to the station house. On arriving there, she found her little boy surrounded by strangers. The doctor had been sent for, but had not yet arrived. She was told that the wheels of a large carriage had gone over her, his foot. But on examining it carefully, she was surprised to find no real injury about the foot. Why, Willie, darling, how is it possible for the, Willie, the wheel of a carriage to have gone over your foot and not have crushed it? The child looked tenderly up into his mother's face and said, Mama dear, I guess God must have put it in a hollow place. This shows what faith this little boy had in the protection with Jesus, the good shepherd had promised to exercise over his sheep. He always has a hollow place to put them in when danger is near. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. The good shepherd cares about you and when danger arises he that dwells in the secret place the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he's my refuge my fortress my god in him will i trust and he just hides us the lord is a refuge for us i want you to believe this today i want you to have faith today that when jesus says i'm not a hireling I, I'm not a hired hand. I'm a good shepherd. I care about you. I'll run risk for you. I'll stand between you and that which comes against you. Whether it's sickness, disease, or, or danger from those who hate believers. I'll stand between you and them. And I will be your defense. And I will even be your rear guard. Listen carefully. We need to come to grips. We need to learn to trust just how much God really cares about us. We are in the hollow of his hand. He is ready to provide for you today. Just draw near to him and trust him because he truly cares for your soul.
Oh, Father, help us to believe. Help thou our unbelief, God. You are our defense. You are our shepherd. And the day you're standing between us and that disease, you're standing between us and, and the, the one who stands at the door to take what we have. Huh. You stand between us and the thief and the robber. You're the Lord, our shield. Huh. You're our banner. And your banner over us is love. And praise you today for your care. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We praise you. You are our defense. And we glorify your name for that. I pray encouragement to the heart of every, every follower of Christ today. I pray encouragement to every pastor today, Lord. Not every elder of every congregation, Lord. I, I pray encouragement to their soul. And, and may they be strengthened with all might according to your glorious power. Filled up with the knowledge of your will. They can, they can walk well pleasing in your sight. I give you glory for it. Help all of us to be the best we can be for you today in Christ's name. Amen. Grace and peace over you today. Let's just have a blessed day knowing that God's got our life covered by his mighty hand.